What's up guys, it's Lorenzo with Quality Mobile Video. Last week we showed you how to make a backup camera connection to the taillight. This week we're gonna break down a backup camera system into five basic components. The five components of a backup camera system are the monitor with its single cable connector, the monitor power harness with its two video inputs, power leads, and trigger wire, the RCA video cable, the DC power connector, and the camera with its female DC power connector and RCA connector. The first step is to take the monitor and connect its power cable directly to it with its single connector. Now all you need to do is line up the tab and just insert this. We'll do the same with the camera where we have the DC power jack and the RCA lead. So after you've mounted your camera, you're gonna run this to the inside of the vehicle. And then from there, you're gonna connect the power cord a male DC power connector to the female DC power connector and then you're going to have your red lead and your power lead. We showed you last week that we were going to grab power at the tail light. This is your red positive side and this is the one that we will connect directly to the lead that we showed you last week. The ground will be grounded to the vehicle and now we'll go ahead and mimic like we're running the RCA the length of the vehicle. And if we were to have this behind some panel or behind the tailgate, we would make our video connection. So we'll just line these two up and insert them. Now on some camera systems, we have this orange wire. It could be a red wire, it could be a black wire, a green wire. All this is, is imagine this is a single lead that's run the entire length of the RCA cable. The benefit to that is if we wanted to create a system that's always on, or we needed to send the signal from the reverse light all the way to the front to the monitor, as we will in this particular case, as we have a monitor that has a trigger wire and is not a video sent system. So we'll show you how to do that. So with our monitor, if we were to have this installed somewhere in the front, we would have this particular harness run to a location, generally the kick panel, maybe underneath a dash, anywhere where you would want to conceal all the wiring. On this particular harness, we have a couple of connections. We have our video input, which is dictated by the female side, and that is the camera input, not an auxiliary video input. That's actually designated by the male connector. Um, from there, we have our power lead, our ground lead, and our trigger wire. This trigger wire is gonna to connect to our tail light. We showed you that last week and we showed you in the previous step that we can use this orange wire connected to the tail light, and then on the opposite side, we would make this connection as this would bring that 12 volt signal to the front of the vehicle. With backup camera systems, we, we have a couple of different options. Some people wanna have systems that are always on, some people wanna have systems that just turn on when the vehicle is placed in reverse, and some people want systems that where you can turn on simply by pressing a button. With this particular monitor, we have a couple of options. This trigger wire dictates a lot of how the system will run. If connected to the reverse light, like we just talked about, that will have the system turn on when the vehicle is placed in reverse. If we want the system always on when the vehicle is turned on, we would connect this to a similar source to the power lead of the monitor. This way, anytime the key is turned, the monitor is on. At that point, we would have to wire this particular lead to the camera to provide power always to the camera. And we would get that from the same source, we would wire the power source of the monitor. And for those that wanted to be able to simply just press a button to turn the system on, is very similar to the last one, where we would actually leave this disconnected, the trigger wire, and then we would run this wire to the same source as power for the monitor, and then this would provide power to the camera. And to make it just a little easier, we'll go ahead and configure the system here just on a little simple layout so you can get a better understanding as to what goes where and how the connections are made. So if we were to have our camera installed, we would connect our DC power connector, positive side would go to the reverse light, ground would be grounded at the vehicle. Then we would have our RCA video cord, and again, at the back of the vehicle, we would make the RCA video connection, and we would connect this lead to the same place that powers the camera. This way we would send the trigger signal all the way to the front of the monitor, and we'll go ahead and make those connections. So up front, we would make the same connection with our video RCA lead, and then we would have our trigger that we connected at the back of the vehicle, and we would connect that to the front 
monitor connection trigger wire. Then we would have our positive side uh, to provide power to the monitor, and then we would ground the monitor. That's it for our five-step installation process and system layout. Make sure to check out our previous video on the tail light connection. Visit qualitymobilevideo.com to get yours today. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.